half a day. Inan Husi Michael Luhan Bavapa. And in this video, we are learning about existential sentences in the Chamorro language. Existential sentences um, indicate the location of something, or they indicate the possession or the existence of something. Um, you will use existential sentences primarily with four verbs, which are irregular because they oftentimes work differently than than some of the other verbs that you'll learn in the Chamorro language. Gaigi and taigui. Gaigi means here, taigui means not here. And guaha and tadza. Guaha, there exists. Tadza, there does not exist. And so these two sets of paired verbs for presence and absence, you use them to indicate um, whether things are in a particular place or whether something exists in general. This is part of a, a larger system in Chamorro language of focus and specificity, um, which we don't have to go into here today. But you, you will use gaigi if you are referring to something specific in the world, or taigui if you're referring to the absence of something specific in the world. So if you say, for example, gaigi y careta, you mean the car is there. Gaigi careta guihi, the car is over there. Taigui careta, the car is not there. Note that when you say those, you're using a specific object, the car. Or if you say, kogaigi sinana guini, is mom here? Ahi taigui sinana guini. No, a specific mom is here or is not here. This contrasts with guaha and tadza. Guaha and Tadza speak generally about whether things exist. So you say, for example, Koguaha Keleguin. Is there Keleguin? Ahi Tadza Keleguin. Ah, Tristidzu, Tadza Keleguin. There's no Keleguin. And so it is not then the specific type of Keleguin where it is, but it is, is there this in general? Koguaha Guihan Gitasi. Are there fish in the ocean? Ahi Tadza Guihan Gitasi. The, the Tadza sentences are so sad. <laughs> There's no fish in the sea. And so, but take note of that difference. One is a gen generality. Does this thing exist in this place? The other is, this is here in this specific place. And that's how you can understand that difference between those. One further dimension of existential sentences, of course, is to indicate ownership or the lack of ownership. And that's where you use guaha and tadza in combination with possessive pronouns. So for example, if I wanted to say, I have money, guaha salapeku, I have money. In English, it translates literally to, there exists money mine. So comes out to, my money exists. And that therefore becomes, I have money. Or tadza salapeku, my money does not exist. I have no money. And so guaha and tadza for locating things in the world, but also for indicating ownership of something. And so using guaha and tadza in tandem with possessive pronouns. And that is something that takes a little bit of getting used to because in, when you say it in English, it comes out as a transitive pronoun, right? I have this. So oftentimes learners will accidentally say early on, hu guaha y careta, trying to indicate that they have a car. But you got to take out, get out of the English context and think in the Chamorro context and get used to this syntax where guaha and tadza followed by a possessed owned sort of noun after it. And that's how you will say that whether you have or you don't have something. Sizus Masing.